Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. In today's video, we will look at the minimum requirements to play Call of Duty Mobile on your device. We will also look at the recommended specs for Call of Duty Mobile. Before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. But let's get into it, guys. I did come across this picture today on Twitter uh, talking about the, the specs for the game. And then I just remembered a lot of you guys have been asking in my YouTube comments lately. Almost every week at least someone asking, can I play Call of Duty Mobile on my device? Now, let's start with the minimum specs, the minimum requirements to play COD Mobile on Android and iPhone. So on Android, you need a dual core with 1.2 gigahertz uh, and 1.5 gig of RAM. Now on iPhone, you need iPhone 7 minimum. So if you have iPhone 6 or lower, you will not be able to play Call of Duty Mobile. And then the OS version needs to be version 9 or higher on your iPhone 7. Now just remember guys, these are the minimum requirements. It means you need that at least. And it doesn't say the game will run extra smooth on these specs. It just means you can run the game. But maybe we're gonna have to lower the settings and stuff. Uh, but yeah, at least you can run the game. Now let's move to the recommended requirements or recommended specs. So yeah, you can run the game on the lower specs, but they recommend these. On Android, they recommended eight core CPU, octa core, two gigahertz, and four gigs of RAM. They also recommend Android 8.0 version. On iPhone, they recommend iPhone 8 or better with iOS 9, 10, 11, 12. So that is it guys. Yeah, you can run it on iPhone 7, although it's the minimum and it will run better on iPhone 8 or better. On Android, 1.5 gig of RAM is a minimum and four is recommended guys. So I hope that will help you guys and I hope it answers the questions. On other news, if you didn't know, there's a new beta starting tomorrow, closed beta. It's been announced about two weeks ago, September 16, on the Garena Call of Duty Mobile. It's the Southeast Asia publisher. There was a list also on Twitter of all the countries included in Southeast Asia. And you can start playing the beta tomorrow if you didn't register yet. I don't know if it's too late. We can still check the Garena Call of Duty Mobile Facebook and try to get a spot. Uh, we also know that the game is scheduled to launch October 2 in Korea. And I'm thinking like if they start the beta tomorrow for Southeast Asia, we are getting really close to an Asian launch also. So does that mean global launch? They just extended the preseason 2 to September 29, it was supposed to end, I think, September 25 or something like that. So anyways, we're like two weeks away from the end of the preseason 2 in Call of Duty Mobile. And then after that, either we're going to get another preseason or we're going to wait a little bit and get global launch. So I will leave you guys with some Battle Royale gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit the like if this video helped. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Zombies incoming! Engaging zombies! Ship terminal is almost ready. Airdrop has been delivered. 
airdrop here. Engaging the enemies. Enemy spotted. Chip terminal is almost ready. Enemy at range. Enemy spotted. Almost ready. Enemy spotted. The safe zone is collapsing. Enemy is near. Enemy is near. Reloading. Enemy is near.